All right, so today we're going to be programming the mouse robot. So the mouse robot, um, right here in comments, we have kind of the logic of what we need to do. If we see something to the left, then we need to turn right. If we see to the right, turn left. If there's something in front of us, we'll turn left, which will then go to the turn left and keep turning. So that way it does a complete U-turn. And otherwise, we just move forward to keep moving. So I like to go through and do the comments like this at the beginning, just so that way I can know what I'm programming. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is include the background files. So we'll just go ahead and get those included so that way we have everything we need. Uh, then we need to get the motor set up so that way they're all ready for us to use. Um, and so now we've got stuff set up. So the first part that we need to do is we need to actually read the sensors so that way we can see what's around us. So this will go through, read each sensor, save it. This should all be familiar for you guys. Um, now what we're going to do is we need to work through the logic. So um, we're going to work with it if statements. So here I'll copy in the first part of it. All right, so the way that if statements work is if whatever is inside of these parentheses is a true statement, it'll run the code inside of here. So in this case, if our left sensor is reading something closer to it than 500, we'll need to make it turn. So we can go through and actually put in that code. So we'll run the motors and we'll have it turn. So now what we'll do is we then need to have the next one. So we need to check if the right sensor is reading. However, for this one, rather than just doing is, if, we do else if. What this will let us do is it'll only check this if statement right here if this one appears false. This prevents the case of, let's say, both the right and left were seen. Rather than having the robot do this, see the left, then see the right, and it'll do kind of this jiggle back and forth, this will make it so it only does one direction each time. So that way we don't have to worry about the robot doing stuff that we don't want it to do. Um, the next one that we're going to do is if we see some in front of us. So this one is also going to be an else if, just kind of like the one above. Just go through, check the center, just like the others. Then the final one that we need to do is for if um, all of these other ones are false. For that, what we do is we use just else, no if with it. So this one will only run the code inside of it if all the ones above it are false. So if the left sensor is not less than 500, the right, and the center, then it'll run this code down here, which will have to actually have the robot drive forward. So using this program, you should be able to have your robot drive around, avoid obstacles, and all that. Um, you may need to adjust the speeds so that way it actually drives straight or makes a left turn how you want to, to do it. Because uh, sometimes you know your motors don't run at the exact same speeds. Um, so yeah, this code should work. Hope you guys learned something.